Let's face it, I'm not that good at animating. I've made a little add-on just for myself to help getting a feel for the weight of a character. I've found it pretty useful just for myself so far, so I thought I'd share it. It's called C of G, for Centre of Gravity. This is how it works. You download the zip file, the link's in the description, and you install it just like any other Blender add-on. Once installed, you just select it on the add-ons panel when you need it. You can use it on any character, but it's easiest on a humanoid figure, I guess. Let me demonstrate on a Rigify human model. It'll work on multiple different models like uh, Make Human, etc., but I'll try it on a Rigify model. Here's the standard meta rig uh, for the basic human in Rigify, and I'll just convert that to a full Rigify rig. I'll highlight the deformed bones so that you can get an idea of the shape of the character. The C of G, or the Center of Gravity panel, is in the Tools panel on the left, uh, down the bottom, I expect. With the armature selected, it's a matter of first hitting the Add Mass button. And this assigns a mass to the various deformed bones in the model based on keywords that appear in the name of the bones. Then the Track C of G button will add two empties to the scene. The top one tracks the actual centre of gravity of the model, while the other one shows the location of the centre of gravity at ground level. Uh, rather than ground level, it actually does it um, at the root bone of the model, which of course is often the ground position. And if you don't have a bone called root, R -O -O -T, in your model, this uh, bottom empty won't show. So what's the point? Well, firstly you can see where the weight of the character falls relative to the location of the feet. This is quite important, particularly in static poses, so that the character appears real, uh, that is based on real physics. Secondly, you can monitor the movement of the centre of gravity from pose to pose as you animate the character. The weight should really accelerate smoothly and have a reason for accelerating, like the feet pushing the character forward, and there shouldn't be any unexplained jerks or strange movements. If that happens in your animation, it just doesn't look real. And this doesn't happen automatically when animating. You have to work on this smoothness to get realistic, physically-based motions. Just a few details about the add-on. The Add Mass for CFG button causes the add-on to search through all the deformed bones in the model, matching common keywords like head or arm or upper, lower, foot, that sort of thing. It adds a custom mass property to each matched uh, bone. Uh, only on deformed bones. The amount of mass is the value shown in the properties panel for that keyword times the length of the bone. In that way a model with say 10 spine bones will be the same mass as one with two spine bones. You can modify the custom properties however you like to suit your particular model and if it's not a humanoid model, if it's a spaceship or something completely different, you can simply set those custom properties however you like. They're also uh, capable of being animated, the properties you can change. So for example, perhaps your character picks up a large weight, uh, a heavy object in one hand, you can animate the weight of that hand to go up while over the object is being carried and then go back down again. And using that additional weight in the hand you can you can make the pose of the body compensate in a consistent way for that um, for that object while ever it's being carried. The properties of the empties can be changed however you need them to be changed. You can change the size and their shape. Uh, 
once you've selected the track C of G button, in the properties panel there are some offset values and this allows you to add an offset to the centre of gravity if the calculation is not correct. Just for example if the character has a large belly but there's no bone in your character to represent that weight, you can offset the C of G in that way. If you don't want or need both the empties, let's say you just want the one on the ground level and the one in the middle of the character is just annoying, you can delete either of the empties and the other one will continue to be tracked. The add-on's quite happy just to work with one uh, empty. The add-on also just uses a background task continuously to move the empties and although I haven't been able to notice it or measure it, I guess it takes a small amount of um, of computer power to do that work. So if you delete both of the empties, the background task will be completely removed and the add-on will sit there and not use any resources on your computer. The custom properties uh, still stay on your armature and uh, they really don't do anything so that doesn't seem a problem. And it means that you can um, you can continue using your model without the add-on even loaded. There's no problems with that. And then at a later time, re-enable the C of G add-on and press the track C of G button and the tracking will just um, continue where it left off with your, um, with your uh, mass values in your armature. So that's it, that's just a brief description. There's more information on the documentation on the GitHub page, uh, a reference of which I've included in the description. As I said, it's been useful for me. I just, um, I just hope it's useful for somebody else. Catch you later.